Unit 8 Science and Technology Reading I Humanoid Robot Sophia I match the following words with their meanings A. Humanoid B. A machine or creature that looks and behaves like a human B. A. E. Feelings of respect and slight fear C. Revolution V. A great change in conditions, beliefs, etc. D. Celebrity I. A famous person E. Enthusiast IV. The first design of a device or machine. F. Applaud. V. A person who is very interested in a particular activity or subject. H. Prototype. E. To clap in approval. G. Takeover. Versus an act of controlling somebody or something. B. Fill in the blanks with the suitable words, phrases from the text above. A. Sophia greeted the audience in Kathmandu with a, Namaste. B. She presented her keynote speech about the importance of technology. C. The Innovation Conference and Fair was organized by UNDP. D. Sophia was built two and a half years ago. E. According to Sophia, technology can transform state institutions. F. Using artificial intelligence could bring revolution agriculture sector. G. According to the robot, the news of fearing of robot taking over humans was fake. H. In the opinion of Valerie Julian, technology is giving a solution to various problems. C. Answer the following questions. A. Who is Sophia? Answer. Sophia is a social humanoid robot and the world's first robot citizen. B. What was the main highlight of the conference? Answer. The main highlight of the conference was to show the importance of technology in the development of human lives. C. How can artificial intelligence be useful in Nepal, according to Sophia? Answer. According to Sophia, if artificial intelligence is used in Nepal, we can ensure better public services, a revolution in the agriculture sector, make better use of resources, and protect the environment and so on. D. Who was the audience comprised of? Answer. The audience was comprised of government officials, private sector representatives, civil servants and tech enthusiasts. E. How long did Sophia speak for? Answer. Sophia spoke for three minutes. She gave a three-minute long keynote speech. F. Why are innovative project models being developed in Nepal, according to UNDP? Answer. According to UNDP, the innovative project models to address gender empowerment, combat gender-based violence and disaster risk reduction, with a focus also on green energy, youth engagement and post-disaster recovery in Nepal are being developed. D. How do you think AL technology can help to end poverty and fight starvation in Nepal? ANS. Recognizing the causes of poverty is key in looking at how to tackle the problems using technologies. From natural disasters, war and conflict, affordable food, lack of education and life skills. AL can help to identify the regions most in need of help. Through improving farming lands and agriculture, increasing education and helping inhabitants learning new skills to support communities, AL can also help with aid distribution in poorer and war-torn areas, or where natural disasters have caused devastation. Poverty and lack of education are highly linked, but AL can help impact education levels in poorer areas. We could soon see intelligent chatbots standing in as teachers for students without access to other forms of schooling. As long as there is access to a computer internet connection, an AL teacher could guide pupils through a syllabus. This could entirely eradicate financial barriers and inequality that so many across the world come up against in education. Another way in which AL can go some way in promoting education levels is through tailored learning. Everyone learns in different ways, some people are listeners, others more visual, and others learn by doing things hands-on. AL could help identify students, lead and optimize the process. By giving all students the same S, those from poorer backgrounds will gain the skills needed to get ahead. Artificial intelligence can dramatically improve the efficiency of our workplaces and can augment the work humans can do. When AL takes over repetitive or dangerous tasks, it frees up the human workforce to do work they are better equipped for tasks that involve creativity and empathy among others. Grammar I. A read the following. Thank you, letter and underline the relative clauses. Fungaling, table jump. The 6th of June 2021. 
Dear Sujita. Thank you very much for the wonderful birthday gift. The vase you have gifted me is exactly what I wanted. It reminds me of the vase which my little sister broke last week. It has exactly the same patterns. In fact, this is the best china that I have ever seen. My mother, who loves flowers, arranged roses in the vase. Can you guess where I have kept it? Just outside my bedroom. Thank you once again for the lovely gift. Love, Kunam. B. Complete the following sentences with relative clauses. A. Manju works for a company. Answer. Which produces smartphones. B. The story is about a girl. Answer. Who climbed up the highest mountain? C. What was the name of the dog? Answer. That chased the beggins behind. D. The police have caught the criminals. Answer. Who were involved in the barrack robbery? E. Graham Bell was the man. Answer. Who invented the telephone? F. What happened to the painting? Answer. That I booked for purchase. 